Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have a collaboration with Karen Markers. Now they sent me some supplies to do a review on so yeah that's what we're gonna do. So I think we should just open it. Right so inside the box we have some individually wrapped cardboard things so I guess we should just take them all out. I'm having to film this way instead of top down view because the box is so big. So and then there's just one more to take out. Now we'll switch to top down view. Alright so here are the three boxes that we have here. We have the oh, it's not to focus on this camera. Come on, start working today. Right, I'm gonna start again. We have the metallic brush markers, we have the brush marker pro mega box and the pig pigment deco brush designer set. So I think what I'm gonna do is make three videos out of these instead of just one video because I really want to test them all out so I think I'm going to pick one and review just the one. So for today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Pigment Deco Brush Designer Set Basic Passion and Violet Blue it says so let's open it. There we go. So here it is. So we have the basic colours, passion colours and violet blue colours all in this nice little case. Right, so uh, I think what we should do is take the film off of this very carefully. We don't want to break it. Now there's a little tab here, so if I pull that out, it's going to give some instructions. My camera's like tilted for some reason. Oh, it was about to fall off. It's a good job I looked at it. <laughs> Would have been tragic. So yes, we have some instructions. Make sure to lie them flat. I think that's not the English version. Is this the English version? Yes. So, have some nice instructions. And we have three boxes. So to start we're going to look at the basic colour set. So I'll just move the others to the side and we'll open this one. I just don't want to scratch the box. <laughs> there we go. Now I just want to say thank you again to Karen for sending these markers. I'm sorry that my camera keeps falling. So here it is. Oh we have some um, swatch sheets as well. These look like stickers. So this is the first set of basic colours. Now I have used these three before. Um, if you watch my scroller box video you'll see that we did get sent some of these Karen markers. I'm not sure if you can really see the texture of this but it's really like spongy foam that they're all sat in which I think is really good. Very professional looking. 
Now I do have the perfect paper for this because I'm going to use the one that was provided in the scroller box. So let's tear a sheet out and swatch these colours. Just going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm so scared my camera's going to fall off. Just give it a shake. Now there's many different ways you can actually use these markers, in fact I need to put manual focus on, there we go. So you can also like add water and I will show that in the video. So these colours here are the ones that we received in the scrawler box, these four lovely nice colours and I know these are really expensive but just just looking at the packaging and the, the case and everything I, I definitely do think they're well worth their money and the markers are very juicy that's the correct word now do these have names to them? No, they don't. Oh yes, they do. Aha! Yes. Let me just um, see if I can get this into focus. This one says aubergine. <laughs> now my prompt squad peeps will know all about aubergines. In fact, if any of you want to join prompt squad, you can go over and subscribe to Jasmine's channel, Jasmine Todd. I will leave a link to channel below and you can watch a few videos and you'll understand what Prompt Squad is. I probably should have done this in a different way so that um, I could label them but it's fine. We've got the names of the colours on there and then we'll use white. I always like to put black and white together. Oh, you can still see that showing up. Nice. Alright so that's the basic colour set swatched. Now we'll move on to the next one. Right, so let's gently take the film off of this one. And here we go. So we have the same thing again, which I've read through it, and it's a customization kit, so you can store these in whichever ever way you want. If you wanted to move them around. So again, it all comes in this nice cushion-like box. <laughs> yes, right. So let it's, let us swatch these um, passion colours. I think um, they mainly use them for calligraphy. But I know that we can use them for art. Let me go and show you what I did with them. Here's what I made with the um, Karen markers in the scroller box video. As you can see, they all like flow nicely together. I'm loving these colours. What's this one called? I like this colour. Pale violet. Yes. We love purple colours. Yeah. At one point, I think purple was my classed as my favourite colour. I also forgot to mention that you can just put the cap on the back, which is great, so you, you're not losing your cap. <laughs> now, I'm going to make a big statement here and say that these markers are better than Posca's. There we go. She said it. And I'm going to tell you why because with Posca pens you have to shake them, pump them, activate them whereas these markers they're already done. Let me just take the lid off, give it a little bit of a quick shake and Bob's your uncle. It's done and they all, they're also very opaque as well, quite matte so you can layer over the top of them. 
So that is the passion colour set and next up we have the violet blue colours which I will go and open and swatch now. Here it is. I love the, um, the design of this as well. It sort of shows you what it could be inside without giving too much away. So let's open this. Wow, look at those. Just taking a moment to take this all in. <laughs> let's uh let's crack on and, and swatch them. And then I will obviously give like a really big close up. So this one is Cool Aqua. They also all have numbers assigned to them as well. So I think that's what's supposed to make it easier to search for them. Now I don't know too much about refills. How you get refills or if they do any or if you have to buy the markers individually I will research that and make sure to put it in this video so here we have a light azure I think that's how you pronounce it I just checked outside then I thought I heard the door go lovely colors didn't expect them to do so many blues I mean look how many there is can see a nice purpley colour coming up. I'm excited about that. I make sure to click the caps now because I can hear it, which means that it's safe. And then let's do the last final three. This one is plum. Hmm. The cap seems darker than the actual colour on that one. Violet blue. Oh yes, look at that. One of my favourites, next to next to the aubergine. <laughs> I don't know if you peeps like these uh, swatching videos. Some people find it satisfying. There we go. Now I will get a close up. Zoom in of the the colour. Here is the basic colour set, and then the passion colour set, and then the violet blue colour set. So yeah, leave a comment below which one is your favourite set. I think I like all of them. <laughs> I like a lot of colours from each one as well. But I would recommend the basic set if you're starting out because you can mix these with water which I will show in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out some of these instructions here. I want to see how that works. So it says if we take two markers, so let's take the red and the yellow, and we take the caps off, and it says to hold, hold it upside down for 60 seconds. Whoops. So I'm going to try that. And we should get a smooth gradient. All right, let's try that. I didn't quite hold it for sixty seconds, but you did. You can see that it did, like, make a small gradient. So what I think we'll do is we'll try it the other way around and do the yellow on top of the red. I am curious as to see if they do have instructions on how to clean the nib. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so the red one didn't work. But it seems to work from dark to light colours, which I think is cool. 
Okay. So that's that one. Now another way in which you can use these markers is to take like a ceramic plate and draw on it like that and then take some water and use it like watercolours so let's see if this works there we go that works well and we can layer it obviously this is not watercolour paper so it's gonna you're gonna see like greens a little bit but I want to see if we can mix two colours together so let's try red and blue on this palette here and see if we can make a purple right so let's clean our brush oh there we go look at that just made a new colour. This is why I think the basic set is really good because you have your primary colours so you can make extra colours. There we go. So that's another way in which you can use them. Obviously you can use the white marker to put it on top of the normal colour like it says here and wait 5 to 60 seconds to get a gradient but I don't want to ruin the nib of my white marker <laughs> okay so I've just read up and it says that if you do have um, paint on top of the marker so let's let's put some blue let's do a gradient of yellow and blue some blue on top of this marker here and we've got yellowy green on this blue kind of cleans itself up really but let's just do this and see so it says to dip it in clean water dip the marker in clean water and then paint a little so oh wow look at that I don't know if you can see but it <laughs> makes like a little round circle and then it says to paint oh it's cleaned it up it's not got green, greeny blue on it anymore just yellow so that works so yeah that's that's pretty much it for reviewing these um, markers and as you know you can create things like this with the markers which is what I did and you can also create things like this as well so yeah thank you again for Karen markers for sending me these to do a review I will go on to move <laughs> I will move on to the other boxes later on so yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below what you think, share with your friends, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye.